Modern Islam is a term that we hear in the media. And I would like to talk to you a little bit about it because it turns out there's no such thing, but it does sound nice. I recently, in my trip to Europe, was in the Balkans and I went to Kosovo. Now, Kosovo is an Islamic nation. Soon after we got there, I said, I'm hungry, let's have lunch. So we stopped at a restaurant and I had pizza. I had pizza with ham on it. And I looked, there's a bar with whiskey and beer. You can buy lottery tickets, and I'm going, hmm, this is not what I expected. So we went onto the Capitol, an attractive place, and the same was true there. Every restaurant had a bar. You could order lottery tickets. You could have pork. And I'm like, this is very puzzling to me. This is not at all what I expected. There were no burkas on the streets. And so I asked the person who I was with, who was a Christian who had lived in Kosovo, and he said, oh, these people call themselves Muslim because they had a grandparent who was Muslim. He says they never go to the mosque, they don't fast during Ramadan, and yes, they eat pork and none of their women are covered, even wear a hijab. So I thought to myself, hmm, this is what they call moderation. But notice here, moderation means not obeying the Sharia. Moderation means it's not Islam. There is no way to eat pork and be moderate. There's no way to gamble and be moderate. There's no way to not go to the mosque and be moderate. What we call moderate Islam is no Islam, no Sharia. So, how do we achieve a moderate Islam even thinking about it? Consider this. Islam is the doctrine found in the Quran, the Sirah, the life of Muhammad, and the Hadith, the traditions. That is the Islamic doctrine. That is Islam. How do you change something that's perfect, eternal, universal, and complete? You don't. You cannot improve perfection. You cannot improve any of these things. And if it's eternal, how do you change it? No, Islam cannot be changed. It can just be ignored. We just don't do that. So that's the moderation that we have in Kosovo. The only way to moderate Islam is simply not to have Islam, because Islam itself cannot be changed. By the way, if you think, well, see, this is still good, they call Islam no Islam, and everybody's happy. I asked him about the mosque. He said, well, most of the mosques have an old imam and no one goes there. But he said there's a new kind of mosque in town. It's a Wahhabi mosque, and it's put here by the Saudis. And there you see everything which you think Islam is. And he said, by the way, these 5% mosques which are built by the Wahhabis are filled on Friday with young people. He said they fill to the sidewalks and go out into the street. So real Islam is coming to the land of moderate Islam. And who will triumph? The real Islam will triumph. Because you see, they can always point to the truth of the Sharia, the truth of the Quran, and say, see, you can't have pork. And no, you can't sell those lottery tickets either. Because that is the real Islam. And the real Islam is not moderate. It is what it is, Islam. It's not extreme. It's not moderate. It's simply Islam. Thank you.